You guys know I have waited such a long time to finally put this cabinet up. I got it months ago. I think I got this in October, November of last year and I got notified that my IKEA had them in stock and I drove there, reserved it, drove there and drove back in one day and got this cabinet. And it's been sitting in my garage because our move got delayed. So I've just been dying to get this cabinet put up. So I'm super excited. I just love the whole design of it. I am just like been wanting to put one up for so long. The cabinet I decided to go with is the Ikea Millspo Tall Cabinet. I got the white one. I just like the sleek look and clean look of white. So I really wanted to do the white one. So I'm glad that it was in stock and I just can't wait to get it set up. I actually did a lot of research prior, like several months ago, I was watching videos, I was reading up on stuff to use, and I just feel like over the past couple of months, I've just gotten too busy with the whole moving process and unpacking since I've been here. I honestly have forgotten a lot of those videos and just, I think I'm just gonna wing it today, honestly, I can't remember how to do this and how to build it. I'm just gonna open it and just start reading the instructions and slowly putting it together. And I think I will make this a series and do a couple videos on my process and what I use to style it inside and putting the plants in there. And I'll do like a full cabinet tour in another video. So this part one is gonna be more focused on putting the cabinet together and getting it set up. These are the two boxes that came with the Ikea Millspo Tall. I have two separate pieces, so I'm going to unpack everything and lay everything out and see what I'm working with here. I'm really excited to dig in. Okay, so this is everything out of the box. These were in one box, this up front. Um, that was separate, but these tall cabinets, this is all glass. These two side pieces and these bars were in the tall box along with the toolkit and instructions. Definitely, I'm gonna need instructions. <laughs> and the other box, this looks like all glass pieces and some legs and another that's probably the bottom piece there so these were in the smaller box and that was in the bigger box gonna need coffee <laughs> to read this manual yeah so i'm just gonna follow step one here and start building the base and after that it looks like we're putting this bottom piece on and i think before i build the rest of the cabinet i'm gonna go ahead and get that hole drilled because I know that I want that hole in there before I start building the rest of it. So that is the plan. We'll see how it goes. Ended up separating all the little pieces out because they weren't separated and I have a couple more here. I don't know if there's a spot in here that tells you what they all are. I mean, I guess I could just look at the photo. Oh wait, here we go. Okay. I just wish they would have separated them a little bit nicer instead of having to guess at what the pieces are. Yeah, they're like numbered here, but they're not numbered here. So I just wish they had done that differently. So these are the first pieces that are screwing in to the base here. So this part was pretty easy because they line up. There's like different pieces and it shows you in the diagram how to put all that together. So that was fairly easy to do that part. And next I'm gonna take these little screws and screw in the bars to tighten them. just tighten these here. 
Okay, so I just screwed in all of the ends there. So this is how I am laying this piece on top. It was kind of confusing there for a minute, but you have to line these up based off the photo. And then I'm going to be drilling this part in first, and then it's going to have me put these end pieces on before I put that part on top. And then once I do that, I'm going to be um, drilling the hole in that corner because this is the wall that my cabinet's going on and my outlet is on the right side. So I'm going to be putting the hole kind of in this area um, before I put the rest of it together. But I'm going to drill this in, put the ends on, and then put that top on and then drill through. That is the plan. All right, this part, it was pretty specific on which holes to put the screws into. So these ends, they go here, and on these ones, they go on the outer part there. So that's what that part looks like. what it looks like with the ends on it was pretty easy to screw into the bottom and then this middle part just used an actual screw and I just put the top on which is pretty easy it just took one screw these like little hex screws on each end and then I screwed this middle part in right here so it's pretty steady and next I'm going to be drilling that hole before I put the glass pieces on because it looks like that is a two-person job and I don't want anything busting and breaking so I'm going to be drilling the hole next and I want to put it right there because my outlet is on this side of the wall where I'm putting it so I think that spot right there will be perfect. Alright, I am back. I took a little lunch break. I was getting hungry. I got my drill bit. I will link this down below, this exact one that I'm using. I got it off Amazon and my husband let me borrow his drill so we are going to be drilling i kind of want to do it myself instead of him doing it i just want to say that i did this entire thing by myself i'm going to see how it goes i don't want to mess up but i'm going to try and drill the hole in this thing so we'll see i'm going to flip this around and film some of it <laughs> and also let me just put a safety warning out there make sure to use gloves and eye protection don't be a wild child like me and just go for it because you don't want to cut yourself because metal with a drill is one hot and sharp and you're going to cut yourself and get hurt. So use proper safety precautions. Just want to throw that out there. I'm really proud that I drilled this by myself, you guys. I had to end up taking it apart to finish drilling the bottom piece, but it's okay. I put it back together. Let me show you the hole that I just drilled. Okay, I had to take this thing apart because it wasn't drilling, it being put together, but I drilled both holes. This is the bottom piece. And I should have measured with the drill bit first, you guys, because I cut it close. Like, look how close that was to the actual thing. So. I should have measured with a drill bit first on this thing so that would have given me an idea of how and where to drill it but yeah I ended up having to take it apart to finish drilling that hole but it's done so I'm gonna put it together and then I'll show you kind of what it looks like with the um, hole in it all right so it is drilled I accidentally got a little hand with the drill but that's okay you won't notice that and then I have little grommet things I'm going to put here to protect the metal so that is drilled. I put together this whole thing, put the top back on, and now I have to put the glass on the sides, I think is the next step. So let's continue. Well, my heart is racing, you guys. I got a little frustrated there because I'm trying to put the glass in. And this is like the hardest part for me because I don't want it to shatter. But I figured it out, I put one piece in, let me show you what I did, and then I'll put the other three pieces in and I'll film that, but whew, <laughs> that was nerve wracking. Okay, so the top part here, you have to get flush against the 
um, top part here, like this little groove where the white is, you have to get that in there at an angle first. So you have to basically like put the whole glass in with this top part, you know, up against here first. And with like the two finger method, you're gonna like push down here on the bottom with your fingers. And I kind of pressed like the sides here and got it as flush as possible as I was going down. And there's these little bumps here. And you basically have to force push the glass over the bumps. And you wanna make sure it's like lined up and everything before you did that. So it was a little scary having them go over that bump, but I managed to do one. So I'm going to do this piece here next and hopefully it goes it goes okay and I'll try to film me doing that. Oh my God, I'm like sweating now. This was so nerve wracking you guys cause I already drilled this hole and I just had to like slide this glass past the hole. I don't know, I just had to stop filming. I just was like, I was so nervous. So I have to get these little things, this glass over this two little bumps. So I'm gonna push those in really hard, but I made sure to make it and push it flush against all the corners here. Oh my God, I feel like I can't breathe. That was rough, you guys, that that was rough. But let me show you how to push this in. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Oh shoot. Did you hear that? That's what you have to do. You have to like force, force, push it. Okay, so this piece is all in. That was hard. I thought I was gonna bust that since I already drilled and it was going to break pushing past this stupid hole, but I got it in and I have to do the other glass on that side too. So that is gonna be so nerve wracking. I'm gonna do this one first. Oops, I forgot, I gotta put like little things in here and screw these two in first before they come out. So let me do that first. So I just screwed these three things in to secure the glass. you guys I am like I'm ready to get this done okay on to the next step <laughs> okay so these two front doors are different it took me a minute to figure that out because one of the doors has two holes for these little things you will pop that open so that that's up and then I'm gonna be screwing this in with these long screws. There's like four of these. So I'm gonna do one on the top and the bottom. 
and that door I'm not going to screw anything on it looks like so these here just go on to the door with the two holes so I'm going to screw these in with my screwdriver and it looks like I have to add something here next so I'm going to screw these in and then move on all right for the doors there's these short little pieces here that you're going to put in the hole and the door that you put the clips on it goes on the left side and there you fit the this door onto that piece and then these little hooks there's like a little slot on the back of the door that the hook slides into right here so you put the door on that piece first and then slide it in to the open part on the door and that's how it goes on all right so i have the doors on there is this little piece up here that falls into the hole to secure it in place okay let me see what else needs to be done i think there's handles which i did get different handles and i have a lot more screws and stuff which i think is for the inside glass but i did get um wire to put in here instead of just glass so i think i'm going to use I don't know. I don't know how much I'm going to get done today. I just wanted to build it and then I'm probably going to make my own adjustments and stuff to this maybe tomorrow. We'll see, but we'll see how far I get. I don't want to do too much more filming. All right, here is the cabinet all put together. I actually was missing one of these little white pieces for this third shelf. I don't have a little piece for that unless Unless I'm missing it somewhere, I was pretty thorough and looked over all this stuff and for some reason I am missing a piece. But that's okay, I'm going to be switching these out for the wire mesh in there that I have. I'm going to get some bigger grommets for that and I'm going to end up putting those pegboards in and my fans and my lights and getting this like weather stripped and everything and all set up. But building it was quite a bit of a job for a one day project so I don't know how much more I'm going to do of this part tonight sorry for my dog and yeah this is how i built it so thank you for watching part one of my series i'm going to be filming a part two where i take you like a more in-depth tour of the stuff that i decided to go with and i'll show you more about all that in a separate video and then i will do like a full greenhouse tour of my plants and make that like part three of this series so Thank you so much for watching part one. It was a lot of work. I'm glad I did it all by myself. I feel very proud and accomplished. I didn't really do a lot of research and I kind of wished I had done a little bit more before putting this together. It took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but that's okay. I made it, it turned out good. I didn't break any glass. It looks great and I'm happy with it so far. So I'm really excited to get the rest of the stuff done and put in there. I think it's gonna be another full day of work with that unfortunately but that's okay I'm kind of tired after putting this thing together so I don't think I'm gonna do really anything else today with it but yeah I will be filming more and show you guys part two so look out for that